so there was another study presented looking at pembrolizumab in first-line clear cell RCC. Uh, uh, the first approval for uh, PD-1 inhibition in kidney cancer was for nivolumab based on the trial comparing nivolumab and everolimus in the second-line setting a few years ago. Since then, we've seen the data looking at uh, Nevo and IPI, and uh, that uh, looks very much like it's going to become the standard of, of care um, for some patients. Here was a study using Hembro as the agent, Hembro monotherapy in first-line clear cell RCC. Um, response rates, here's, here's some of the data, response rates around about 40%. Um, you know, it's not, uh, this is, this the Pembro uh, as an agent is much less advanced in the field of kidney cancer compared to when you look in lung cancer, which Pembro essentially has won the, uh, the arms race uh, battle, or not quite an arms race, but the battle between the PD-1 inhibitors where, where Pembro is, seems to have taken over the whole field. Not quite the case in kidney cancer here, where uh, here they're still in the early stage trials, essentially, without randomization. Um, so this isn't practice changing at all, but this was, a, a, this was the data that they're showing. So what are we going to be seeing in the upcoming few years in metastatic kidney cancer? Um, we're, going to, we're going to be having a lot of debate, I think, about what's the most appropriate therapy to be using um, in which patients. Should we just be using single agent PD-1 or pd one Should we be using combo immunotherapy? PD-1, PD-1 plus CTLA-4, nevo IPI that we're seeing the data that's uh, come, that we've already seen a strong overall survival benefit in there. Should we be using sequential immuno, uh, immunotherapy, using PD-1, PD-1, and then only uh, after, after, if I have a failure to that therapy, then doing CTLA-4 instead, nevo then IPI instead of nevo and IPI. Uh, potentially that might be uh, a good alternative. And then we're also seeing lots of combination trials as well, looking at uh, VEGF inhibitors or TKIs together with immunotherapy. So we saw presented at uh, GU ASCO in San Francisco six months ago. We saw the study um, looking at atezolizumab together with uh, the bevacizumab. Uh, and there's a number of other trials looking at even with a TKI VEGF inhibition. And so that's going to we're going to be have to be weighing up all these different options. Um, what do we need to look for? The same as always, efficacy. How, what, if, is there a durable response rate? Um, how durable is it? Um, what's the toxicity between the different agents? Um, I'm very, I've done a lot of work on health economics and cost. I, I think it's important to look, about, look at cost as well, not only for individuals, but also for, for society.